We thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Latrice Curry. Tomorrow, President Trump is expected to visit the Dayton, Ohio community just three days after nine people were shot and killed when a gunman opened fire outside a bar. And tonight we've learned one of those people killed was Logan Turner. He's the brother-in-law of a voice you hear nearly every weekday here on Channel 3. Channel 3's Michelle Heron joins us now with more. Michelle. You know, Melissa Turner, many of you know her as Mo, a radio personality with US 101. She learned her brother-in-law was one of the nine victims in the Dayton, Ohio shooting. And she sat down with me to tell me more about Logan Turner and how she's coping with what happened. He was such a sweet spirit. He was full of life. Logan Turner was out with friends at Ned Pepper's bar in Dayton, Ohio, celebrating his birthday. He was one of nine people killed when a gunman opened fire. To lose your life at the age of 30 in such a way, it's just, you can't explain it. Logan had just started a job as a machinist when his life was cut short. Mo with US 101 learned her brother-in-law was killed on Sunday and decided to share what happened with her listeners. I mean, I live a life where I share a lot of my life with my listeners every day. And this is a story that I was not going to be able to hide. To just have something like this happen, you just, there's anger and there's sadness. And you just really don't know how to cope with all these emotions that you're going through right now. She's taking time to process those emotions and remember Logan for the life he lived and not what took it from him. It's easy to blame it, whether it's a political aspect or a gun law aspect. And I'm not saying that there's change that needs to be made, no doubt about it, but change that I know that can happen today, that people can do today is to be kind to somebody. Now, Mo says that the support has been pouring in since she shared that news, and she tells me that she appreciates all of the messages and prayers. And from all of us at Channel 3, we send our condolences to Mo and Logan's family. In the studio, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.